Let's take a look at how we can multiply numbers using counting rods based on the methods described by Sun Z. I'd like to multiply 64 by 37. So the upper number is 64, 6 and 4, and this represents 37. I'm lining up the 7 under the 6, and in general we always line up the 1's place of the lower number under the highest place of the upper number. Our answer is going to be placed in the middle between those two numbers. We say the upper 6 calls the lower 3. 6 times 3 is 18. And so I'm going to place an 18 in the middle position. Since this 18 represents 1,800, the 1 has a horizontal orientation and the 8 has a vertical orientation. Now the 6 calls the 7. 6 times 7 is 42, and I'd like to add that 42 in line with the 7, so the 2 goes above the 7. I'd like to add that to what's already present, so the 4 gets added to the 8. Of course, 4 plus 8 is 12. With counting rods, it's easy to make that change, though. Um, so 4 plus 8 is 12, so that means one more gets added to the thousands place, and we're left with 2 in the hundreds place. Of course, we had 42, so we get another 2 in the tens place. Now I'm done with the 6, so I can shift the 37 and remove the 6. The 4 calls the 3. 4 times 3 is 12, and again, I'd like to add the 12 to what's already there, like in line with the 3, so the 2 I'm going to add to the 2, and the 1 I'm going to add to this other 2. And so we get 34 in that middle position. The 4 calls the 7. 4 times 7 is 28. So I'm going to add the 28 above the 7 right here. So 2 plus 4 is 6. And 8 goes into the 1's place. So now we're done with the 4. And I can remove the, 20, uh, the 37. And we have our answer, 2,368. What's nice about counting rod calculations is that it's easy to manipulate numbers, to add them by just kind of moving a couple rods around. And so with practice, you can get really uh, quite fast at, at carrying out calculations. So I encourage you to take a moment and, and try to calculate the following, 748 times 23. I would encourage you to pause the video for a moment and try to calculate that out. In just a moment I'll work through the steps. Alright, let's take a look at how to calculate this out. So the 7 calls the 2 and gives us 14. And I'm going to line up that 14 above the 2. The 1, because it represents 10,000, you know, so this is 14,000, the 1 is in a vertical position, a, a vertical orientation, and the 4 is in a horizontal orientation. 7 times 3, the 7 calls the 3 and gives me 21, and I want to add that 21, kind of in line with the 3, I want to add that 21, so I'm going to get a 1 there, and 2 plus, uh, 2 plus 4 is 6, And so that becomes essentially 16,100. So we're done with the 7, so I'm going to shift the 23, remove the 7. 4 calls the 2. 4 times 2 is 8. So if I add that 8 to the 1, right, again I want to add that 8 uh, to what's already there, I get a 9. 4 times 3 is 12, so I want to add that 12 to the 9 that's already there, and so adding the 1 to the 9 gives me 10, so that turns this into a 7, that turns the 6 into a 7, um, and since it was 4 times 3, there are 2 left over. So now I'm done with the 4, I can shift the 23, 8 times 2 is 16, 
So this becomes, uh, I want to add 6 to the 2 that's already there, so that becomes an 8, and 16, and a 1 more. And then uh, 8 times 3 is 24, the 8 calls the 3, so I get 24. So now I want to add the 24 right here where the 2 is in line with the 8. So I add 24 to that, this becomes a 10, which makes that a 200, and then there's 4, this is in the 1's place, so I'm going to line it up vertically, uh, and we get a 4 in the 1's place. So I'm done with the 8, I'm done with the 23, and we can see our final answer is 17,200, the 0 is represented by that empty space, 204. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.